My dear friend, it's me, Shazi Blal. And today we are going to discuss about a new and interesting topic that's about earthquakes. Earthquake is a disaster. So before starting this topic, I would like to give you a brief introduction about disaster so that you can understand the topic well. A disaster is a sudden action or a calamity that causes injury, loss of life, and a great damage to property and nature. Scientists have classified these disasters into two types that are natural disasters and man made disasters. Natural disasters are those types of disasters that occur naturally, and man made disasters are those types of disasters that occur due to human error. Natural disasters are also classified into two types that are those disasters that are caused due to weather and are termed as the meteorological disasters. Second are those disasters that are caused due to the activity under the surface of the earth and are termed as the geological disaster. And today we are going to discuss about a such type of geological disaster known as an earthquake. Imagine it is a pleasant day and you are sitting on your chair drinking water. Suddenly a shaking occurs and you fall down. What is this shaking? This shaking is an earthquake. Sometimes the shaking can be slow, but sometimes the shaking can be so strong that it can cause a great destruction. But how does this earthquake occur? Well, our Earth's surface is like a jigsaw puzzle. It's not a single piece of land, but it's approximately made up of 20 pieces of puzzle. These puzzles are known as tectonic plates that move very slowly. But you can never feel them moving because they move quite slowly, about 10 centimeters per year. And when there is an interruption in the movement of these tectonic plates, it causes the shaking of the ground and causes an earthquake. Now let's discuss about the different types of movements of tectonic plates. Tectonic plates move in three different ways. That are when one plate is forced over another plate. This is also known as the convergent boundary. It causes a thrust of fault and molecules and mountains are formed in this type of movement. Second is when two plates are forced apart from each other. This is also known as the diversion boundary. It causes a rift zone and gives birth to a new type of ocean flow. Third is when two plates slip by each other. This is also known as the transform spot. Now let us discuss where do these earthquakes take place. The location below the Earth's surface from where the earthquake originates is known as the hypocenter. And the location directly above the hypocenter is known as the epicenter. If there is an earthquake, we can reduce the impact of an earthquake on us if we move away from epicenter. But these earthquakes happen at major fault lines. Fault lines are those places where tectonic plates move. For example, Japan is a country near fault line and it gets, it gets earthquake per day. Earthquakes are also major. It are, it's, it's measured on a scale known as the rector scale. On rector scale, the earthquake that is measured about 1 or 2 is weak. If it measures 3 or 4, then it's moderate. If 5 or 6, then it's severe. But if it measures more than 6, then it's a great type of earthquake. Do you know that world's strongest earthquake struck southern child and it measured about 9.6? So this was all about my topic. Thank you and have a nice day.